Testosterone is, 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 is lowering much faster, at a rate much faster now than it was 50 years ago. You're, it's normal to lose 1% to 2% every year, but it's declining much faster now. Yeah. They've, lowered the, they've lowered the average scores by over 300 points in the last couple of years. It's crazy. So the high, the high scores are not even out there anymore that were normal before, and now they're considered too high. But they're not too high. We just, as a society, as, as a male, males in general and around the world, have, their testosterone are much lower, it's much lower now. I, um, it's funny, I was at a conference with uh, Dr. Chrysler. He's got right, his, you know, right. a pretty famous guy in TRT. Many, I've been with him many times, yeah. And he, he was saying, which is interesting, he said that the reason why the averages, and especially like the lab averages are going down, are that they're grouping in all the guys who are oh, yeah. in low T into it. So it's bringing mm -hmm. the whole average for all males down. And that, you know, he gave the um, example of, would you take someone who was going in for a liver transplant uh, and put their liver enzymes into the pool of no, normal values? Of course yeah. not. Yeah. You would you would obviously extract those. And um, I was talking to a clinic, a different a clinic owner, and we were talking about that we often will have consults is a funny comment. So. We're talking about that, you know, X percent of people that we do consults with, for whatever reason, decide not to move forward. Right. And right. he made the comment that his wife thought that maybe those guys are, you know, too low in testosterone to make a decision. Okay. And, you know, I sort of laughed at it at first, but then I think back to how I used to feel when I was low mm -hmm. hormonally. I had such a hard time getting stuff done at work. Yeah. I would literally sit in front of my computer screen, I feel like for eight to 10 hours a day, I wasn't getting much done. And I sort of think that there could be some truth to that. Oh, I think you know that yeah. for whatever reason, it's hard for some people who are low hormonally to make a decision and stick to it. Did you ever see the movie Idiocracy? No, but I want to. Yeah, it's an yeah. interesting movie yeah. where just you know, uh, for whatever reason, people breed and they get less intelligent over right, time, right. and so the least intelligent people are running the world. I feel like that's happening with testosterone. I, I think the so. averages are going lower and lower and mm -hmm. lower, and it's going to be at some point. You know how low is the average testosterone level if we don't yeah. do something about it? Well, a lot of the people that, that LabCorp collect for are going for low testosterone to begin with. It's true. That's a good you point. Know, testing anyway, so you're, right. you're really not taking. You know, you can have a really high testosterone level, and as long as your everything else is in balance, you're fine. Yeah. Someone asked me one time, you know, how is it that all the guys that, you know, come see you typically have low testosterone? You know, mm -hmm. like if you're running the blood work, would they be mm -hmm. all across the spectrum? I basically said because the guys who have really high levels of testosterone yeah. still are not coming into the office. No, they don't. They need still to. feel great. Yeah, they still feel they good. They still feel great. They're probably in great shape. Um, they're not dragging. But what they do is the other guys see these guys and they're a little, and they're, you know, they, they start feeling funny. You know, they start, what's wrong with me? And they don't want to do anything about it. Okay? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not for everyone, but if you really want to just keep your life and feel, feel in your prime and not feel like you're going downhill, it's a, big, it's, it's, a big, uh, it's a big plus. And I tell a lot of our clients, I say, well, you know, I'm just going to say, if you're a high achiever, it's going to be really hard. It's going to be much harder for you without, you know, if you, right. if you want to maintain your status as a high achiever and you have a lot more to do in your life. And there's, we're getting a lot of our patients now are in their 30s. And um, we find the same young 30s and even some of their 20s are very curious about it. And they and they're diagnosed with very, very low levels. They have lower levels of testosterone than I was tested when I had when I started. Yeah. So. So I know you mentioned that it was your 55th birthday this year. Um, let me ask, man, how do you feel? How do you keep the energy levels up? I mean, you know, I had a lot of things happening over the last, uh, 55 was in August, and it, around the start of, um, of this year, or even into last year, I really started expanding one of my businesses that I have with partners, and I started putting a lot more into that. So there's a lot going on, and I started- the stretch business, right? Yeah, stretching the stretch. Stretchworks is a company we have in Washington, D.C., where we have a practitioner-assisted stretch therapy, and it's really great. It feels amazing, and it's very long-lasting, good therapy, and it's very, it's very, it's part of balance. It's part of how to be balanced. It's not just a, your, your body is, on, Everything is so important. Yep. Your body is not just a, a it's not just linear. It's, it's all around you. So figure out how your body works and stretching is really important. And um, it's emotional release too when your body is like becomes less tense. It's amazing. I yeah. have a, a friend who has a business down here who does it. So I've gone through. Yeah, through it's amazing. Help with different issues mm -hmm. and it's a, it's a game changer. Well, it starts fixing the imbalances that you, you just can't really get to, get to yourself even if you even if you do take like like I do I stretch every morning at home but what happened when I was 55 
is I had um, just been out to Los Angeles, which is a great city for me. I really have a good time in California. I feel very at home in California. And I started looking at myself and I was thinking, I'm not as fit as I was the last time I was in LA. And, I, I, and I've been telling myself all year that I'm giving up a workout for the business and giving up a workout and I can just maintain. And I've always heard guys that get to be a certain age that you can do maintenance workouts. And I thought that makes sense. I can make more, I can take care of more work and be less stressed be less stressed and have more time for work, which is really stupid, and especially when it's my business. I, I know how this works. And yeah. um, so I got to the thing where I was like, I was kind of disgusted with myself and not in a bad way, but in a way that made me really just kind of put a fire under my ass. And um, I said, this is the start of this. I'm going to make sure that I stretch every single morning, no matter what. I'm going to do 100 push-ups every single morning along with that, no matter what, every day. I'm going to go to, you're going to go to the gym and I'm going to go back to the gym the way I want to go. I'm going to get my protein powder again. I'm going to go right back to when I was in my training and my competition era. Not with the diet all the time, but just taking it really seriously. My workout's really seriously. I'm not going to give that time up anymore. And I started making time and I started, I was happier. And right. then I started seeing progress and then I was doing 200 push-ups every day. And sometimes if I couldn't go to the gym, I'd do five or 600 different, different types. And then I started, I started seeing results. And it's been a really great journey. So at 55, I said, this is where I, I saw you. I saw you and Andrea down here at exactly. 55 on my birthday, as a matter of fact. And I'm starting to see the results. But in the last couple of months, these results have just magnified. And I feel like a really, I feel really renewed now. And I've decided that I'm going to make 60, which is going to come before you know it. I'm going to make 60. I'm going to be superhuman, I decided. So yeah. I'm going to have everything in my body. I've, I've been doing a lot of peptides for healing. The BPC-157, I've been using it almost every, I'm using it every day. It's amazing, right? Using it different site injections, and I feel better. I can actually, my muscle can grow now. It's not tight and doesn't hurt anymore. And um, so all these things I've been trying to just use what I have to improve myself and be my best again. So I've been doing videos about that, and it's just taking 55 has actually been really kind of awesome so are you gonna are you gonna uh rename the instagram account to redefine I it 55? Am, I, I i have a brand manager now jess he's awesome and jess and jessica and they work really hard on me every day they work they, they do great things i've been doing great things for a few weeks since we started working together and i think we're just kind of evolving now and we're making it into a brand at the, right now 50 50 redefined is actually working for me right now so and, 50 um, redefined. So we've, we're branding it. We're doing a, we're right. doing a new logo. We're, we're doing a lot of really good things to make it. Um, I want it to be, hey, it's great to be 50. It's yeah. Like you made it this far, you know, and, and you should be feeling good at 50. Life should be a lot more open. It should be a lot more accepting of things, and it should be a lot more um, truth, I think, and honesty in your life at, at this age. Yeah. If you don't figure it out, you have to start figuring it out soon. Okay. That's true. I think by, uh, well, even 49, you know, which I consider 50, you've been through so much in life that it, you just don't play games anymore. You know, you just are on. I mean, you know, I think I'm way, you yeah. know, it's not that I wasn't honest when I was younger. Mm -hmm. It was more straightforward. Well, you were straightforward, yeah. probably. Trying like, to deal yeah. with everything yeah. head on. Like you said, don't, don't wait to deal with things. You know, uh, the things that you have to deal with, you need to take care of as soon as you can. Get everything organized, under control. Yeah. And... Um, you know, I think also from a like relationship standpoint, when you reach a certain age, you start to realize that you really only hang around with people who are important to you. You know, you hang around, you hang around the people that are good for you. Yep. You meet the people that are good for you. And if you have that philosophy, you're going to meet the people that are good for you. And they're going to be people that are really going to be that are going to want the best for you. Right. And I don't have time for people who don't want the best for me. I don't have time for and when someone starts talking about someone, I just disappear. I yeah. walk away. I don't need that in my brain. Exactly. I don't need someone telling me that they're sick and feeling bad today and they're mad about this and they're mad about that. What does that do? Right. It just spreads the misery. I, I just, I, I'm done. Okay? Well, don't you feel uh, also, you know, with what we do and, and we have the peptides and, the and you know, like CJC 1295 and the growth hormone related and there are always new ones in the pipeline. I mm -hmm. feel like you know we're we're at this time hopefully you and i are not too old to really take full oh, advantage of no. it but I, you know what we I, are I, I think that 20 years from now we hopefully we'll look about the same well, that was my whole thing i i i know realistically i can be a, i can be almost brand new at 60 again and nothing will hurt i can be even better i can even have better muscle mass and now not too much but good quality lean muscle very solid my brain will be thinking really well exactly and i'll be moving like and another thing moving like a younger person too you have to keep your body moving and understand how it works if you don't understand how your body works i see so many people struggling at the gym and they're and they're just 
I'm, I'm doing it perfectly right next to them, what they're trying to do. Right. Okay. And I, I, I know how to lift weights. I know, and, I, and I always, I'm always learning how to be better. And I'm training with people that are better than me too, so that I can be better. And I think, but I understand how my body works. Right. I've learned how my body works. I've learned that it's, it's more than just my, my, my front, you know, it's, it's everything.